Yes, it is. It's time to see some more open homes with Elaine Burkett from Mike Perrow Real Estate. So what have you got for us today? Well, it can't always be about the million plus. So today we're going to have a look at some entry level homes right across the country. So really good for investors or first home buyers. Excellent. OK, let's start with this one in Christchurch. Yeah, and this will be a lovely family home. It's the biggest of the bunch today. It's three bedrooms. Um, it's set on 615 square metres. And you can see that it's been redecorated. Mm, nice splashback. Yeah, quite modern and it's spacious as well. So that tiled area through from the dining room will be great for little kitties, you know, meal times. Mm. They're messy people, little kitties. They can be messy. <laughs> so this one's only minutes from Hornby Hub Shopping Centre, so it's quite well located as well. Got a pallet um, wood fire there and there's a heat transfer system. Great little conservatory that gives flexible added space. Modernised bathroom and some great outdoor options as well. It's a nice little area they've done there. Yeah. And what I like about this house is that it's that classic sort of solid house, isn't it? Nice and solid, sturdy, reliable, yes. great entry level home. Yeah, and look, there's plenty of space for a growing family. It's got a big garage that's also got a workshop in it as well. Mm. Okay, nice. so the big question, how much? <laughs> that one is 435000 Wow, okay. Okay, great. Well, let's carry on. Now we're heading to Stoke and Nelson. Yeah, and look, Nelson's such a special little part of the world. And this one's a real solid, dependable townhouse. As you can see, there's two attached, so it's one of the two. Um, and it's got a decor that's really retro cool. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, it's straight from the 70s. So there's a little bit of potential. Oh. <laughs> that's Great some more paper. Storage. Oh, look, you really? leave that long enough, it'll you come know, back around in well, fashion, I, don't you worry. I think it yeah. has. I think yeah. it's so retro, <laughs> yeah. it is cool. It's got a really great outlook as well and, um, you know, quite good space. It's open plan living. It'll make it such a great little bachelorette pad. Um, well, no, and, you know, look, you look at the greys that they've used, those neutral tones in the bedrooms and the carpet, and then a little splash of colour in the kitchen, a little splash of colour in the bathroom. You're right, it's for vibrancy, isn't it? Yeah. That's a whole lot of splash of colour in the kitchen, by the way, <laughs> but I love it. I actually think it works. All in a great backyard. Nice little, you know, and it's compact as yeah. well as a usable space, so that's really good. Um, it's, it's close to the... Um, to the shops and schools, and it's got a great outlook out to the Western Ranges. Gets so. good sun too. Yep. Mm, yeah. Okay. How much are we talking for Nelson? That one's inquiries over three sixty-five. Brilliant entry okay. level price. Thank you. No, I love the description for this one and the notes that you gave us. You said it's Tauranga and it's got a nineteen eighties attitude. <laughs> it really <laughs> does. Like so we've come from the seventies into the eighties, and this property is located in an area that's growing in popularity. It's really close to the CBD. It's also just moments away from the main arterial routes. So you know we're seeing the first home buyers buying in there and investors as well. So there's a little bit of redecorating to do if you want to modernise it, but it's totally livable. Mm. Um, it's got split level living, which gives it a, a nice feeling of spaciousness. I mean, look, there's a piano there in that open plan living area. Is there's so a grand piano. Yeah. There okay. is. So it's on a grand scale, really, that size of the living area. Is that area. upstairs? Gosh, I haven't had they got up there. You know, I like the height of those ceilings too, because it does, you know, make it feel more spacious. And if you look closely out some of those windows, uh, you can see quite a, an amazing view. Uh, really nice. See, look at that. Yeah, Amazing, so isn't it? that's right. It is a little bit elevated and close to Brookfield shops and, like I said, Tauranga CBD. So, you know, while Tauranga is pushing out through Papamoa and growing, these CBD um, suburbs are going to grow in popularity. How do they get that piano upstairs? Look, there's good off-street parking as well. It's got a lock-up garage as well as that second driveway, so okay. it's got some really good potential That's there. Good. So what are we talking for that one? That one's 449000 oh. OK, sweet. We're going to head to the big smoke, Auckland. Entry yes. level in Auckland. What have you got? Yeah, so entry level in Auckland is completely different to the rest of New Zealand, as you can appreciate. And Blockhouse Bay is really popular. It's such a great area. And this is a surprisingly spacious unit. Um, it's bigger than it looks and it's going to be difficult to resist. See, I love those units because I think they're so well built and yeah. they are always bigger inside. Mm. And it's got those beautiful caramel wooden floors that are just so nice and, you know, that feeling of warmth off them. Um, nice modernised kitchen. Look, it's light and bright and it's perfectly simple. It's got everything that you need um, and quite a good sizeable space. So your, your laundry's there close to the back door, which makes it nice and easy. It's got two bedrooms. Um, it's a total of 70 square metres, so, you know, pretty good for a, a first home. 
Yeah, yeah, and, you know, and I think Aucklanders too are lowering their expectations when it comes to what type of house they need for their first mm. home, and that would suit somebody perfectly. There's lots of potential to add some value. You live; it's a great alternative to an apartment, yeah. and obviously a great price as well. What can you do for us? So buyers above the mid 700s should be looking at that. Okay, one. cool. Well, that's not going to freak people out too much. I know. <laughs> well, first home buyers are spending that kind of money. That's right. It? Auckland is okay. Yeah. Mm. Let's move on to New Lynn, another Auckland one as well. Okay, so this one's a great little opportunity, um, brick unit. It's joined, it's only in a block of two, and it's joined with the garage. So that's quite good when you're looking at units, yeah. because it gives you some good separation from the neighbours. A mm. um, little bit of potential, but it is a really tidy condition, even though it's original, um, cosy living area, and it's um, open plan through to that dining and kitchen. It's got a good sized master bedroom. It is decent. Yeah, and the second bedroom has got a neutral decor, so even though it's set up as a nursery, you know, someone hasn't painted a big mural on the wall, mm. which really hinders it for the next oh, person. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this place is all about the outdoors. It's really gorgeous, cobbled area, and modern plantings. It would be a lovely space to relax in. They have done a great job with the gardens there. And New Lynn, it is certainly a vibrant suburb and up and coming in Auckland too, I think. You know, get in now. And look at that, you've even got a bit yeah, of space. so this is the garage space that's set up as a bit of a man cave yeah. there with the laundry, right. so usable in, in any way. And you've got the, those are private bits of your own grass there too, which is nice. You get to actually enjoy that. Yeah, and it's fully fenced in the back, so. Excellent. Good for everyone. Yeah, uh, so what, are we, what are we talking yeah. about? That one's inquiries over 630. Okay, okay. great. There you go. We have given people a lot to think about yeah. and some potential homeowners hopefully are watching right now. So thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks Elaine. Thank uh, to see more on these properties and others you can go to mikepiero.com.